morning, Iris. Welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. And if you're brand new to the channel, glad you landed here. So, um, not my normal, usual setup. I'm just letting everyone know, in case this is your first time watching, that um, was getting a new desk. Matches that coffee table. It arrived with a big chunk out of the um, lacquer. And so I refused it because I know it is very difficult to repair lacquer. So the new one won't arrive for about a month. So this is my temporary setup. We'll have to do the audio sucks, the lighting sucks. Oh well. Um, yeah, that's that. Also, I did publish a channel update with which talked about changes that are coming to the channel effective November 1st. There is a little link up here at the top. Uh, should have popped up at about one minute or two minutes into the video. If you missed it, it'll have a little round eye for information. Please click on it and watch the video, <laughs> okay? Because this is the last series of readings where I will be following uh, my usual order of Aries through Pisces. So you're going to want to understand what the changes are about. Um, yeah, so do take the time to watch that. All right, I am pulling from New Beginnings Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what your message is today. Card 32, all is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. All is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. I love that for you, you little supernova you. Okay, so nice message to kick us off. What I'm gonna do as usual is I'm pulling my split soulmate spread. You cannot see the desk either. Well, it's my bar actually, that's my kitchen. Um, you cannot see it, but I will hold up all the cards. It's okay, we're all gonna be fine. And um, I'll pull the spread. I'll give you my general impressions as always. I'll go back through with the clarifiers for the details. And then for those of you who wanna travel forward with me into the extended for the deep dirty details, That'll be fine. Okay, <laughs> so that's your option. All right. Always keep in mind, it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. Take it as it speaks to you. And uh, energies can come through reverse, so I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. There we go. I like how we're starting. The overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Could be someone coming toward you with an offer from their heart, an offer of love. Knights make offers, so that's lovely. Oh, the person showing up with emperor energy, and they're struggling. There's something they're avoiding. That's their blocker challenge. And what could mitigate that? What's the opportunity for them is to kind of lighten up, go with the flow. So this is someone who seems to me to maybe want to be coming toward you with something like some measure of vulnerability and they're kind of like humming a humming a humming like they you know chew their chew their foot off uh to avoid it but maybe if they just go with the flow be a little bit um less intense about it temperance is about self-control and restraint it doesn't like it's telling them not to panic is sort of how it's coming through um from my perspective how are you coming through? Yeah, this is weighing on you. Ten of Wands. Ten, when we get to the tens, it's done. There's something here that's about releasing um, and getting relief from a heavy burden, offloading some you know, heavy energy or some negative karma here. And the challenge is that you're anticipating something. And the difference with the Three of Wands is that sometimes it's talking about anticipation of something you've already set in motion with the Two of Wands, right? Because um, you have to decide what you want and you have to choose the path and then you have to set something in motion so that it arrives because this is a manifestation card and something isn't arriving. That's what's weighing on you here. Got it? And it isn't arriving because our person here is kind of avoiding. 
And then what happens is we start to go into expectation mode. Ooh, that is danger zone. Don't do it. So that's why I feel that's heavy for you, right? That's why we've got this struggle with the three of wands. Oh my, my, my. So because this is the opportunity card, we have to sort of see it coming through reversed where we're not looking at it as we're getting the short end of the stick or somebody's trying to get over on us or we immediately throw up the white flag of surrender and see ourselves as defeated. Okay, this isn't um, a zero sum game that's being played here. Uh, at least because we're looking at this as the opportunity, we have to look at something positive to come from this situation. All right. Your spread and the card positions are always very important. All right, Knight of Cups. It's perfect. Yeah. I giggle because it's like I go through it and I know you're sitting there kind of sort of not understanding how, like, how could this be? How could that be positive? And I'm trying to tell you, we have someone here who really does have feelings but isn't comfortable in the vulnerability market they're just not it's just not their thing and so what are they doing they're slowing their roll they're kind of pulling way back on the reins notice in this card the horse has the leg up so we've got some motion not so with the knight of pentacles boom that knight of pentacles doesn't take one step forward till every t is crossed every i is dotted they know where they're headed and guess what this person is scared they're scared <laughs> right and and there's some some insecurities here there are some probably some fears from all over the place and therefore this requires some healing first your person may be responding to some pains of the past some wounds of the past some insecurities coming from experiences in the past where they bared their soul to their love and got clobbered so that's why their struggle is they're, they're trying at all cost to avoid putting their heart on a silver platter to you. Okay. So that's why I giggle because I see it. I, I, and I immediately understand what all this is about. And it's weighing on you because you set intentions and you're standing there going, where's this thing? Where is it? because you're expecting. Emperor. They know what they, they, they want the thing. They want the, <laughs> they know you are the one. This is a love of a lifetime kind of material. Almost too good to be true. They, they want this. This is about commitment. It is about, right, the honor that comes with saying, I've met the one. I found my person. And they don't want to hesitate. But something's happening here. Something's happening. It's like, it's almost as if, I'm almost feeling this is the Gemini because it's like there's two Two people showing up at this on this side of the spread. Let's see that Seven of Swords. This is someone who learned a lesson the hard way. And so they might be responding to that lesson. I'm 
I'm not sure you're the Queen of Wands. I'm not sure. You could be. Um, that Three of Cups is feeling third party-ish. And the Queen of Wands in these kinds of readings can tend to come through as karmic partner material on occasion. Not always, but paired up with the Three of Cups, it feels that way. And almost as if this person um, is in this struggle right now with maybe there's been, maybe they were cheated on. Maybe they're still not healed from that. Uh, I'm not saying this has anything to do with you. I'm almost seeing it as it doesn't have anything to do with you. It could, because it is a general reading. But they're, they're showing up like this. I want this. I want this person. I want this connection. But there's two forces at work here for this person. One is all the love that they have to give. And the other is, is bringing them to a halt be, you know, from fear. And that four of swords, I feel, is very much connected to whatever this painful lesson is that they learned, I'm seeing it as painful. And I'm seeing it as what's causing the avoidance. So let's see temperance as the opportunity. Temperance is when we come from like a higher octave of some spiritual wisdom. And the higher, uh, the um, hermit is wisdom as well. It's a little more earthbound. There's something here this person feels, I feel like they feel sorry for, uh, sorry, sincerely apologetic. It's possible, it's possible that there's been a little third party situation here. Um, the deeper I'm getting into it, there's, it's, it's possible. And whether it was between you or whether it was something that they've learned the hard way before and now they're having a difficult time coming to terms with it, and so they're avoidant of moving forward in the commitment with you. You know how sometimes some, someone makes a mistake. They cheat on someone. And they don't really ever confess it. They don't fix it. They, you know, oh well. And they go on about their life. And then they meet the one. And everything's perfect. And it should be perfect. But on some level, because they never kind of paid any price, it's like there's Saturn come, like they kind of are feeling the weight of, I don't know if it's guilt. I'm not seeing the Five of Cups. That's the card that would tell me that there's some associated guilt here. But I'm feeling like this person is struggling with some kind of associated cycle here of they haven't fully dealt with something head on. So they're in some form of avoidance. And when I look at temperance says, well, rise above. And yet the hermit says, and go within and make some form of sincere peace around it because it's, hitting this person's self sense of self-worth and value. It's like this, I'm seeing someone who kind of feels crappy about something. And it's dredging up some apprehension, some 
fears, some insecurities. And because we have the Four of Swords underneath, they're slowing everything down because there's something that needs to be healed, needs to be reflected on, needs to be dealt with. Oy. And it could be in your relationship, but it doesn't have to be. So let's look at your Ten of Wands. Yeah, almost like on some internal level, we could be happy, but this has just gone and screwed the pooch. The Page of Wands can be um, something positive, something exciting, but it can also be like the energy of little bit of someone who's not real evolved. It certainly is not the king, right? It's the page. And just this is weighing on you and it's not sustainable because you're just getting, this is all too piddly now and it's really messing with your, it's, it's messing with your reality, with your potential happiness. Um, it's not sustainable. It's, it's weighing on you. I'm feeling the page of wands is how you're perceiving this person's approach. That it's not serious. Three of wands, like you're getting a page of wands. You want this knight of cups. You want this king of wands. You want the emperor to take some action to sort of prove their mettle and their worth and their desire. And you're dealing with this little page energy. Three of wands in your blocker challenge. You're trying to tap into your intuition. I kind of like that. That's good. Uh, as to whether or not, you know, like the decision, what, what is this? What, what, what's coming toward me? And because you're anticipating what's happening here. And I have a feeling that it's almost as if you're at that crossroads moment. The two of swords is also a crossroads moment where, you know, you have an important decision to make. And you're really trying to operate from a higher vibration, from your intuition, your inner knowing, your sense of what's going on here. Is this just DOA? Because you're not getting what it was that you anticipated um, and things are feeling very heavy and the response that you're getting seems immature, unevolved. So your opportunity here to kind of deal with that is the five of swords. which I maintain is reversed, and that would be correct because there's our Five of Cups. So it's, it's not you getting the short end of the stick. It's not you who should be defeated here. This person is living with guilt. This person has regrets. This person has, is, not, is not coming clean about something. So let me hold it in reverse for you. Queen of Swords, the opportunity is for you. Gosh, this same sort of, um, not exactly the same, but similar energies came through in the Taurus reading. So if you have Taurus in your chart, if your person does, if you're dealing with a Taurus, watch that reading because there's something very, very, you know, close, closely aligned with how you should approach things. 
this Queen of Swords in specific. Um, this would be the opportunity to kind of set all the emotions aside, come at this very practically, level-headed, pragmatic, uh, like you are going to be on a fact-finding mission. Underneath is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands here being that opportunity to kind of light it up, to kind of get things in gear, because here's where we started. And whoever this is kind of brings it to a halt based on some fear, some insecurity, something unresolved, unhealed. And that they have a lot of regret about. And that's why I'm going to stay in my energy of I don't think this involved you. I feel this person is in some measure of guilt. Could be you, but I don't feel it's around you. I feel there's something that this person has done that they got away with. And they're aware that it could come back around and bite them. And the best thing for this person to do is to own up, to be sincere. And to come at it from a very balanced, healed, healing perspective. <coughs> right? That temperance card, but also the hermit is self-awareness, introspection. Because it's tanking their self-esteem. Um, their sense of worth and value. And they can't be of any worth and value to you in a committed connection if they think they're worth shit. There. So they're avoiding it. So I feel these are the two most powerful cards in the reading. Their guilt and you on a fact-finding mission. With no hidden agenda, being straight up like, hey, there's something that is not computing here. And I just want to have a conversation about it. Feels like you might have some guilt about something or something that's holding you back and something that's got you avoiding me, us, we, right? Whatever it is. So this will be one of those readings where uh, the extended could come in very handy because I'm going to jump into this, this, for lack of a better phrase, this emperor's mind. I want to see their perception of you, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you in this connection. Um, what, are their, what are they receiving from you? What are they getting from you? Um, their physical chemistry level, level of fulfillment. For some of you, you may be at a distance so that we're talking about the chemistry. Um, those of you that are closer, the actual physical intimacy. And um, where they see the, the connection headed. All of that will be helpful because it will let you know how much this is really holding them back, or if they're in the process of negotiating those problems. Um, and even though it's a general reading, and some people say, well, how does it help me? It helps you, because if this is speaking to you, then it's energies that are already there for you to work with. You know, and I always say, if a general reading is about 75 to 80% accurate for you, that's enough for you to have some material to work with. Um, so that's my take on it and how it's useful for you, okay? If you've been enjoying this reading and have not yet done so, please subscribe. Uh, if you've been a long time viewer and haven't done so, please subscribe. That's how I grow this thing, okay? All right, so um, the extended, by the way, the links are below. Option one is uh, Gemini Monthly. It's a renewal. Option two is just this extended. Option three, as always, is the All Access Pass. Here we go. We've got Knight of Cups is Pisces. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. The Moon is um, also Pisces. Our Emperor here is Aries. King of Wands is Leo. Taurus in the Hierophant. Queen of Wands, more Aries. The world card is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Temperance is Sagittarius. Hermit is Virgo. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. The Sun is the Sun, which rules Leo. 
High Priestess is um, the moon, which rules Cancer. Scorpio uh, in the death card. And then our Queen of Swords is Libra. And your beautiful all is at your fingertips oracle. What has been created by one can be had by all. And I am going to head right to that extended. The links are below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.